Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Chandelar. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we defeated a few enemies, got defeated a few times. We're basically just trying to build up our deck, which isn't going great. Uh, so, oh, here we go. Take this message each to my brother, the Keeper of Mandrake Keep. He will reward you with a mana link. A mana link is, uh, gives you plus one life as long as that town is uh, not taken over by the bad wizards. So I do want to take that. I have four days to go to sit east to Mandrake Keep, which I know exactly where that is. So we're going to head there and get a mana link at the very least. So let's go. I'm going to try to hit as many villages as we can along the way to see if we can't find more cars to buy. Uh, it's a lot of green that I'm not really using right now. The wise man says, The people applaud your brave struggle to free Chandelar from the tyranny of the five wizards. To assist you, I shall strengthen you with two extra life in your next duel. Dude, hell yeah. I'll take two extra life. So, we can actually see how well we're doing. One of the things I forgot to mention is that uh, every time you defeat one of these creatures, it actually damages the five wizards. So if we go to whiz stats... So here we go. We got the blue, green, white, red, and black wizards. And these yellow dots all along their weaponry is uh, how much life they currently have. And you can see here on the white wizard, uh, he's got two red dots because we've dealt two damage to him by defeating two monsters. So whenever we face the white wizard, he'll have lost at least two life. I think they start off with like 30 or so. And you can bring them down to, I think their minimum is 20. I don't remember exactly. It could be different on a uh, harder difficulty. Oh, a sunken ship. Yes. So sometimes you find just random things on the overworld. You can just search it for cards. So I just found an island inside that sunken ship. What do we have here? Swamps, Aladdin's lamp. Uh... Nothing. The Haggler's Coin. Each village and city offers more cards for sale. Cost 500. It's a cold snap mill. Whoa! Suddenly, the Conjurer. He wants my auntie's water elemental, but his auntie is steel artifact. Well, I got the plus two life, so let's try it. Why don't you try this deck? Oh, he changed my deck. I have no idea what I'm playing with. Okay, it still looks pretty wide. There's actually good stuff in here. Savannah Lions is awesome. A 2-1 for 1 mana. That's a great turn 1 drop. Suck that, nerd. I think if I just Taunus' weaponry. Gives him plus 1, plus 1, equip. Okay. It's not bad. Ooh. Mesa Pegasus is also really good. So it's holy strength. I want to bring the Savannah Lions up to a 2-1. Not going to quite do that. Uh, yep, there it is. Unsummon. See, I'm more afraid of stuff like that happening. So we'll just, uh... Or I can bring the Pegasus out. Nah, let's get the Lions. We'll build Lions and Benoz Hero. There we have a, a wider board, so we got more creatures out. I, th I think this deck is actually better than mine. <laughs> Felwar Stone. That's an extra mana for him. Ooh, the Meek Stone. Not super useful right now. Um, uh, let's attack. Just try to get in there for three. Awesome. And then... We'll, uh... uh nah, we'll split a Pegasus. I like the Pegasus because it flies. So just having that extra, uh... Extra evasion, make it harder to kill and to get around most of his creatures will help a lot. Because that way, if he does play defenders, I can get over him. Or something. Prodigal Sorcerer? See, that's bad news. Now he can start using his ability to kill pretty much all of my creatures. That's that's why I got that Holy Strength, though. Uh, I'm going to keep that on the Mesa Pegasus. Still think that's my best option just because it's flying. Alright, if I attack with all of you, will you 
We actually block with your Protoss Sorcerer? Yeah, he does. Okay. Actually, okay with that, because I figured he's going to use the Prodigal Sorcerer to ping the Savannah Lions and kill them right away. So I still got Animate Artifact. Okay, he just made his Felwar Stone into a 2 2 creature. That's okay, because we're going to. That was why Mesa Pegasus is filled with the holy strength. I'm going to put a sword in his mouth. Oh, there we go. I hit him for four. I'm crushing them. All right, you have one turn to live unless you do something, sucker. I probably should have dropped a banana here, but that's okay. Tax with the fellow stone. Fine with me. Oh, wall of air. Okay, that's a bummer. So the wall of... He's got two creatures now, and the wall of air can block flying. Alright. I know what I need to do. I just need to chill for a second. And we're just gonna get more creatures out. And hope he doesn't get any out. And if I attack with everything from here, he can't block all of them. So I think that's my best play, is just to, to go wide as possible so he's not able to stop all the damage coming in. I'll be able to get him down to two right now. Nope, puts out a pirate ship. Doesn't change him much. I can still get him down to two. Alright, if I get him down to two and then attack again, I can get him down to mm, nope. Oh, it sucks. I can't get it I can't get through. Unless I Band. I will use banding to win. That's that's it. I've discovered the secret. Banned with the Mesa Pegasus. Banned with the Mesa Pegasus. Ha! <laughs> That's so stupid. There it is. Okay. Just kidding. I fought, figured out how to win. Just got a band. <laughs> Banding is dumb. Okay. Okay, uh, alright, he just tapped his pirate ship to deal one damage to his Fell War Stone, because the AI is really good in this game, as you can see. Alright, same deal. I'm gonna attack you in the air. There's two Banelish heroes right on the back of the Mesa Pegasus with a sword in its mouth. Okay. Damn. Uh, one, two, three... I'll kill Vanilla Shiro, it's fine. Alright, well I learned something. So it turns out when they banded, they weren't flying anymore. I thought they would be. I guess I was wrong. See, we're all learning something about banding today. Damn it. I'm actually still doing okay. Unless they get to another wall of air or some shit. Which it won't. Which you won't. Giant tortoise? Oh, that's okay. Get the planes. Hit you with that, uh, there we go. Boom. Huh? I got you at one. Do it. Attack. See if I care. You bring me down to six. I'm still gonna kill ya. Unless you miraculously play something, that would be bad. I was just the apprentice wizard. Alright, going in. That, that took way more effort than it, than it should have. So, if it feels like these games are taking way longer than you expected, it's because my deck sucks, and these get way faster as I improve. For, for example, I can take four uncommon cards, including a Water Elemental and Flood, which I like a lot, or I can take the Dungeon Clue to Brain Geyser, Mox Sapphire, and Demonic Tutor. Ooh, these two alone are super good, but I want to make my deck not blow right now. Oh! He, you are a fearsome wizard, says the Conjurer. You get a duplicate card of your choice. Oh, damn, what do I want to duplicate? 
Uh, it's pretty much anything in my deck. Uh, I kind of I like Zephyr Falcon. I won't mind having another one of those. Yeah, give me another, give me another Zephyr Falcon. Too tight. Yeah. We got We gotta edit up our deck now. So I think I can uh, look at just the blue right here. Get the lands out. Take out the artifacts. Okay. Yeah. I want water elemental. Oh, that's good. Ooh, life tap is awesome if I play against uh, green people because it makes it so anytime they tap a forest, I gain a life, which is ridiculous. So if I fight green, it's just winning. I, I can take out all the green from my deck because I don't really need it anymore. I uh, could probably take out Ornithopter as much as I like him. He's not really doing a whole lot for me. Uh, take out Power Leak. Two Water Elementals, two Zephyr Falcons. Take out a Giant Tortoise. We only really need one. Uh, I'll take Life Tap out until I know I'm going to be facing a lot of green enemies. Primal Clay is good. Clay Statue is fine. Alright, that looks good. What do you have here? Black? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. What is that? Okay. The first of the great wars against Lim Dur was a nightmare for everyone in Shandalar. The ancient wizards claimed to actually hear the agony of our worlds of misused mana. The great dragon's grief would rend any heart, and the guardian was once a man after all. After the war, he vowed to prevent further pain, and the dragon stood behind him. Thus, we established the five magic guilds, each of which polices one color of mana. The lord of each guild is expert with that color, though often weak in every other. Cool. Get some lore boys. Alright, so... Where are we going? Uh, oh, Mardi Creep. It's to the south. Okay. Going south. I think I just follow... You actually do move faster on the roads, so it's better to do that. Hey! The keepers, please receive his brother's letter. You create a mana link. Plus one life. Trade blue amulets for any creatures. I have one blue amulet. What's that? What's that worth to you? I think is it the. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, ghost ship. Flying regenerate. Leviathan. He's hilarious. Lord of Atlantis. Mahamodi Jin. Oh man, I'm not even sure. I mean, all the ones I really wanted are costing two, and I only got the one. A, pro a second prodigal sorcerer? Funny, but probably not worth it. A psionic entity. Sea serpent. Segovian Leviathan? No, damn. Sindbad? I'm sure they meant Sindbad. Time Elemental. Mm. Guess I can also look at white creatures. Sarah Angel. Damn. Oh, White Knight's awesome. Damn. Uh, Wall of Light, no. The Righteous Avengers. Repentant Blacksmith? Miracle Worker. Nah, you're dumb. Ooh, Ivory Guardians. Damn. Camel. <laughs> Just straight up camel. He's no camel god, that's for sure. Archaeologist. Abu Jafar. Ang angry mob? No, damn it. Mesa Pegasus. I don't want to buy one of those. Pearl to Unicorn. A 2 2 for 3? No, that sucks. Savannah Lions? 3? Jesus. You know what? Never mind. I can't afford any of these. What do you have for a quest? Defeat the cleric and I'll get you to have any creature. Okay, I'll do that. I'll defeat the cleric for any creature. So, all I gotta do is stay around this town and try to find a cleric. So if I see a uh, bro in all white, 
walk through this ramp. Oh, cleric! You! Look at your dumb head. Duel! Alright, what? Why is the forest still here? Did I not take that out? What the heck? And plains and swamp? Why is all this stuff in my deck? That's not supposed to be there. Did it glitch and not save my deck? Hmm, that could be bad. We're gonna get a banana shiro. Uh. But your banana shiro is nothing to my pikemen! We have first strike. Advantage Jared. Attack through it, nerd. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, holy strength! And then didn't attack? Alright, tight. I love it when things just kind of work out for me that way. Well, so all I really need to do is just kind of chill until I get enough mana out to drop both my water elementals. So at turn 5 and turn 6 are looking good. Holy armor and holy strength. That is the beefiest banana shoe I've ever seen. But I just got the flood. Boop. Dude, hell yes. So that's an enchantment where I can spend two mana to tap target creature without flying. So if he's got defenders, I can just pay two mana, tap him down, and then go in attacking with the water elementals. Huge advantage for me. I, just need, I wish I had more islands to activate it. Oh, you only have one mana out. I only just now noticed this. Tight. Alright, well... Press that advantage while I can. That's why he's only putting... I mean, for only one mana, not having one mana, he's played a lot of cards. I'll give him that. Getting beefy. Still no land. Yeah, it must suck to be mana screwed, you dumbass cleric. I'm going to help these people, and then I'm going to get us another Banel Shiro. Fine. And I'm going to get the sweetest... Alright, Flood. Tap two li lands here, islands, and then I'm going to tap you. Boom, now you can't block. Which means I'm good to uh, attack with this water elemental. Ooh, takes the full five. Mmm. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Savannah Lions? Uh... Let's actually just get out another water elemental. Mm -hmm. Now, do I attack with this? Yeah, I do. You're gonna have to block with something. If you do multi blocks. Yeah. Oh, they used banding. Ow. Oh, shit, never mind. I was gonna say, I can take out three of his creatures because they banded together. He got to choose where my damage went. So he just put it all on the Banelish heroes. Alright, that was foolish of me. That was not a good trade. <laughs> That's fine. That's why I played the second water elemental. Alright. Tap down this idiot with all the stuff on him. Now attack with water elemental. Huh? Oh, wait, they're doing the same thing. I'm a fool! And now we are in what's called trouble. Whoops. I don't even think about that with the Samite healer. Oh, frick, I'm so dumb. Okay. Uh, how can I still win? I technically still can't... No, not while you got your stupid... If I had, ah, uh, if I had like one more island, I could use this multiple times, and it'd be great. <gasps> I can give myself one more island. Phantasmal terrain on the swamp. Boom. Now I have a second island. <laughs> I figured it out. I got, I got this. Check it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see that play coming, did you? Because I sure didn't. Alright, so at the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Flood. 
Tap your... Oh, look, another island. All right. So now... Hmm. Tap your Samite Healer so you can't prevent one damage. And then I'm going to attack... Wait, undo. Can I undo? I meant undo. Can I... Is there an undo option? There's not an undo option. I screwed up. Yeah, it's straight out there. I was trying to get... I wanted the pikemen to band with the merfolk tridents. But this is fine, too. I can still make this work. I still have uh, islands in play to at least make sure I stop this nonsense. Unless you want to attack with it. If you want to attack with it, it's cool. Oh, it didn't give me the option to. Normally it does. I'm, I'm too used to Magic Online where it gives you like a, a an effects play before their turn or before their combat. I think I just need to put that up in the settings. Well, I just took six. Let's see. Uh, can I... Ooh, mark this phase for always stop. Yes, there we go. Clay statue. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have to... Mm, I don't have... Oh, your regenerate costs two, right? So one, two... Oh, perfect. I will attack you for one. Take that. Get you down to three. I, I'm, ma I'm making all of these... I keep making all of these way closer than they're supposed to be. But I should be able to use Flood now. Disenchant? Am I allowed to regenerate them? Well, then I'm, I'm going to Flood your thing. That guy. And I'm going to Flood your lions. They're I can! Good! One... To regenerate! Boom. She could still attack me for two if she wants and bring me down to three. Swords of plowshares! Ow! Never mind. I got some extra life off the swords of plowshare at least. Eh. Okay. Brainwash. Brainwash your da. Your lions. Maybe. Whatever. I'll throw it out there. Uh, no, let's do. Let's do your extra lady. Because I'm going to tap down everything else. And I think if I do it like this, I can basically race them to death. I don't know why my deck is all screwed up. I need to go back and fix it. Hopefully the mark here will work. Otherwise I'm in trouble. You're disenchanting it. Well, at least you're disenchanting that, not flood. Tap you down. Tap you down. And you can attack for two. Hmm. Swords of plowshares again! That's all of my creatures! Uh oh. Draw something good. Oh, sorry, vultures. Okay. They're flying. And if I could somehow kill something, he gets a carry encounter. That won't happen at all. I'm gonna lose! What's wrong with my deck? Thanos' weaponry! Yeah, see, now it's getting all the good shit out. And I'm running out of, running out of things to stop him with. Oh, boy. Tax for two. I go down to three. That's the biggest Manila share I've ever seen. 
Oh, okay. So I now have six islands. I can tap down three of their creatures. Good. So with that, I'm just, I'm just gonna mark that phase just in case to make sure I can still tap this stuff down. Uh, it's casting their tunnels, which is great. I'll use that as a response to tap down everything I can. <laughs> check that, check this out. This is so close. All right, tap all three of those. Could have totally killed me, but you're not. Because you're dumb. You put all your swords on Benel Shiro. Yes, she's got double holy strength, is wearing holy armor, and dual wielding Talos' weaponry. But now I'm going to kill you with my flying vultures. Oh, swords of plowshares. As tempting as that is, that would actually give her life. Because I would love to just get rid of her big Benel Lancer. But I'm just going to kill it and be done. <sighs> okay. Uh, Meek Stone and Blessing. Blessing's really good. Or second clue. I don't need really a second clue since I know where this is. I'll just take the cards. Oh, there's a graveyard right here. What's in the graveyard? You happen upon a hall of the Sultan. You encounter an Altakash genie guarding a horde of valuable spells. Will you duel the creature or leave quietly? It gets warp artifact and contract from below. I don't want to fight him. No, don't do it, black lady! All right, we're dueling a witch. Okay, let's do it. However, since I did find that uh, secret horde in the graveyard, let me start off with the King Suleiman. So I got a sweet 1-1 one -one creature right away. I know, it's pretty tight. Oh, my deck looks back to normal. At least Zephyr Falcon's there. Did the last duel give me a, a, a wacky deck and I didn't see? Weakness. Okay. There are worse things you could do that to. So now I can get the Zephyr Falcon out. Boom. I can kill you in at least nine turns, unless you do some stuff. You'll probably do stuff knowing you. Damn it, second weakness! Ah! Alright. What else I got? Uh, clay statue eventually, followed by water elemental. So I've got big stuff in my hand. Everything is so weak. Dark Ritual? Oh crap, this is one of the best cards in the game. So for one mana, you can get yourself three extra black mana. Cast Will-O-Wisp, cast Dread Skeletons. Yeah, so one mana just played two excellent creatures. That sucks. Ooh, but I got that Prodigal Sorcerer! Which allow me to pew pew down your stupid ass skeletons. Especially since you've only got one mana right now. So if you try to cast anything, I'm gonna pew and kill your dudes. Pew pew. Throne of Bone! Anytime you cast a black spell, it can pay one mana to gain a life off of it. But I see that you are out of mana, so uh. Pew! <laughs> yeah! Throw down some meat. There we go. Unholy strength? The Will O Wisp is the biggest of strengths. That's okay, if you attack with that, that means you're wide open to the water elemental. Uh, we'll, play, we'll play a clay statue. I thought about casting Brainwash on the Will of the Wisp, which would prevent it from attacking, but I kind of want him to aggressively attack. I'll take the damage, and then he'll be open to taking hits from me. Or... Hmm, nope, no, 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 mind, I got it. What if I do this? So, barring him playing another creature... So that can no longer attack. Uh, 
Okay, good. Yeah, so for only one man, I can't attack, which is great, because now, at the end of her turn, I can zap the wish for one. Pew. Bring it back to my turn. And then I can attack with both, and you can't block both. So you'll die. Hey, and a witch is dead. Ooh. You see, you get greed and death grip. Or I'll come out the clue to find the Mox Ruby Felden's Gain Cyclopean Doom. Take the dungeon clue. It's south of Sarmal's Spire. I don't know where that is. So these dungeon locations are completely randomized every time you play the game. All right, I defeated them, so I can take any creature I want. Sarah Angel's one of the best creatures in the game. But I'm trying to play a blue deck and not a white deck. So if I went blue, I could take a, uh, a Phantom Monster's good, 3-3 three, three flying. Mahomati Jin's good, a 5-6 flying for six mana. I also always liked Ghost Shift just because of its regenerate. Air Elemental's a 4-4 four, four flying for five. Oh man. Ah, I'm not sure which one I would take. Time Elemental is also hilarious. I got, I got to stick with blue. Uh, let's go, let's go with Air Elemental just because it's a low mana cost. It's only five. It's a four-four flying, which is still pretty good. So, all right, edit that, edit deck. And yeah, my deck's normal, so I guess I did have a deck wackiness happening. I just didn't realize it. All right, Air Elemental's going in. Put in one air elemental, take out one water elemental. Oh, I'm down to two food. I'll buy some. Whew. All right. So let's check out those wizard stats now. So, so normally what happens after you defeat an enemy, it plays a little video cutscene of these in front of the orbs, and like the orb glows as their monster dies, and then like it shoots like a laser beam into the wizard, and they're all like, ah, and then they take a damage. So. Yeah, we got one on the black, we got one on blue, so we're doing some damage, we're getting there. Alright, I'm gonna continue this in the next episode, though. As, uh, got a few matches in, and now I'm gonna, I guess, just keep searching around? Do I know if, um, the Hagler's coin is down there, instants are down there? I should... Wait, Sarmal Spire, isn't that where one of the dungeons are? Hold on. Tower of Wim. South of Sarmal Spire! And this is east of Shellcliff Keep. So Sarmal Spire, Shellcliff Keep. Don't know where Shellcliff Keep is, but Sarmal Spire is that way. So I could head that way and get to a dungeon. That sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna do that in the next episode. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time! <laughs>